What's up everyone? Irrigation Farmer here today and we might try some harvesting today. Checked it the other day and we were about 15 to 22 percent moisture from one side of the field to the other. So we might get the combine, get in the grain bin, or sorry grain cart. We'll see what happens. Might be a complete failure. I don't know. Well we'll find out. It's already been a really fun morning. Oh, mirror's in the way. All right, you can see the tractor that's just sitting there. We tried bailing this morning, and uh, guess what? That tractor broke. So that's a great way to start the morning. Hopefully no harvest breakdowns, because we already found out that one. Parts are backed up, and it's a giant mess. So we'll find out. But as I said, we're kind of moving stuff around, getting equipment where we want it to be, and then we'll try out the combine. Combine seems to be working all right, so that's good. Uh, checked one spot right here over on another field. It was about 18%, so that's good, but we're actually gonna go to a different field because this can be drier. So what I'm doing now is basically shuffling. We're gonna take the auger, which you can barely see up there, and move it over, and then kind of move everything else. All right, now you can see the auger. So this thing's kind of a pain to move around because it's 84 foot long. You don't want to drop into a ditch because that'd be a bad day. So we have two grain bins, one on basically our east farm and one on the west side of the farm, which works out really good because then we can just cut really close by, makes everything quick, don't have to move the semi very far. Well, actually, we just move the auger or grain cart back and forth. But anyways, so we're going to move this, set it up on the west side and cut that field and then we'll move over to the east side and cut that field over there too. Semi's all ready to go and grain cart is ready to go as well. So it's kind of late already so we figured we'd just start in the morning, fresh in the morning in case we had some issues or anything. So tomorrow morning we'll get the uh, auger set up at the grain bin and start cutting. Hopefully corn is dry as I thought it is. We'll probably fly a drone over, see some dry spots, sweat spots. We'll hit tomorrow and should go pretty quick because we have a lot of acres. So we'll see how it goes. See you guys in the morning. Good morning. An old red. Getting ready to go harvest. I love doing this. Just gotta. But uh gonna go take this over, do shuffle, get the auger ready, and then start cutting. Alright, so I got my safety suit on. Always fun. Dad is lifting the auger up. And I'm going to climb up the grain bin. Good morning workout here. So let's get to the very top. I got to open up the top of the grain bin and then guide him into there. All right, so I'm here at the top. I'm going to guide in my dad to the top of the grain bin. As I said, I'm all strapped up just to make sure that in case I were to fall, safety first. So we got this lined up to shoot right in there for the spreader. So now, get to climb down. Well, here we are. Looks like it's going all right. Um, just kind of doing the outside passes right now and starting to make some inside passes. So we'll see how it works out. Hopefully everything goes smooth. worst thing about driving a grain cart is trying to figure out where the combine driver is going to go and if he's going to be full or not at the end of the field. 
So it seems like you chase them down and then you find out there's no reason to go the whole way down the field. You should just stay to the top. But, oh well, I guess that's just kind of the way it goes. So it's really loud back there, so I'll talk over here, but so how we got work operation is we just leave the semi here because the field's right here. Right there. So we just jump into the grain cart, grain cart comes to the semi, which is stationed above the auger, jump directly into the semi, down the auger, off the auger, into the grain bin. Works really good, quick, don't have to move the semis. There's a few fields we do, but a good chunk of the field, don't move it, that's awesome. So far so good, everything seems to be working well, the belt's holding on. Um, I okay position for the auger, might need adjusted a little bit, but I have no idea how the yield's looking, because I'm not in the, com the combine. It's kind of what I do for a while, just make sure everything works okay, keep an eye on the belts and stuff, but Hopefully yield's looking okay. We'll find out probably soon. All right, just came into the grain bin after I got done loading. Kind of see how it's spreading. Overall, not bad. A little bit dip there, a little extra there. It's because it's raised up, but actually it looks pretty good. And all it is, well, you can really not really see it. There's a spinner up there, so when the grain comes down, it just spins its way down here. So that's good, that's doing a pretty good job. Um, belt's looking good. So now it's pretty much just kind of keep an eye on it and keep things going. Sounds like the yield's not doing the greatest, which is kind of expected on a down year and this field did, was water short anyways, so this is gonna be kind of one of those years. But anyways, we're gonna keep going. Try to fill up the bins. So I guess the combine discovered a Grand Canyon and decided to get stuck. This thing's kind of wimpy. I mean, it's a little bit of a crevice, but uh, I don't know, it's not that much. These combines are not meant for traction. I guess we need tracks out here, guys. So we'll get the backhoe, pull it out real fast, and keep going. back up and going. Luckily it was really easy to get out the backhoe. I just hope he doesn't get stuck again because there's kind of a bad spot right there. But uh, I guess that's the fun thing about pivots in a hill. Kind of washes the way out there. Well, last load for the day. Let's go take this back over to the grain bin. We just went and cut a little bit here just to move the pivot so it's out of the way. Corn's getting a little too wet now, so really dry stuff, and now we're starting to get into the wetter stuff, which is perfectly fine. We just have to wait for it to dry down a little bit because it's getting too wet to put into a grain bin because that can cause lots of issues, so let's just say. So, unload the semi, call it a day for that, and then go work on some more equipment. Well, done with the first day of harvest. Didn't go too bad. Uh, yield could have been a little better, but as I said, that pivot's a little short of water. Uh, we cut into the other one and it wasn't too bad. Uh, it gets better as the field goes on too. So, things are looking all right, but it is wet, too wet. So we're gonna have to wait, I don't know, three, four days or so, let it dry down a little bit to about 18, 19%, and then we'll start cutting again. 
got the uh, piece for the baler, the harmonizer, I believe it's called, whatever, uh, taken off. So we just have to wait for parts to come in and we can get going on the baling again. Nice and greasy, that was kind of a pain, but got it off, just need to put it back on and we're going there. Thanks for watching. That's all for today. Um, we'll keep going with harvest, but kind of a short one today and go from there. But thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, guys. See ya.